Gravitational wave detectors have opened a new window to the universe by measuring the ripples in spacetime produced by colliding black holes and neutron stars, but they are ultimately limited by quantum fluctuations induced by light reflecting off of mirrors. LSU PH D physics alumnus Jonathan Kripe and his team of LSU researchers have conducted a new experiment with scientists from Caltech and Thor Labs to explore a way to cancel this quantum back action and improve detector sensitivity. In a new paper in Physical Review X, the investigators present a method for removing quantum back action in a simplified system using a mirror the size of a human hair and show the motion of the mirror is reduced in agreement with theoretical predictions. The research was supported by the National Science Foundation. Despite using 40-kilogram mirrors for detecting passing gravitational waves, quantum fluctuations of light disturb the position of the mirrors when the light is reflected. As gravitational wave detectors continue to grow more sensitive with incremental upgrades, this quantum back action will become a fundamental limit to the detector's sensitivity, hampering their ability to extract astrophysical information from gravitational waves. We present an experimental testbed for studying and eliminating quantum back action, Kripe said. We perform two measurements of the position of a macroscopic object whose motion is dominated by quantum back action and show that by making a simple change in the measurement scheme, we can remove the quantum effects from the displacement measurement. By exploiting correlations between the phase and intensity of an optical field, quantum back action is eliminated. Garrett Cole, technology manager at Thorlabs Crystalline Solutions, Crystalline Mirror Solutions was acquired by Thorlabs Inc. last year, and his team constructed the Micromechanica. An outside foundry, IQE North Carolina, grew the crystal structure while Cole and his team, including process engineers Paula Hayu and David Fulman, manufactured the devices at the University of California Santa Barbara Nanofabrication Facility. By performing this measurement on a mirror visible to the naked eye, at room temperature and at frequencies audible to the human ear, we bring the subtle effects of quantum mechanics closer to the realm of human experience, said LSUPH. D. Candidate Tori Cullen. By quieting the quantum whisper, we can now listen to the more subtle notes of the cosmic symphony. This research is especially timely because the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, just announced last month in Nature that they have seen the effects of quantum radiati. The effort behind that paper, Quantum Correlations Between Light and the Kilogram Mass Mirrors of LIGO, has been led by Nergis Mavalvala, Dean of the MIT School of Science, as well as postdoctoral scholar Hao Chu Nyu and research scientist Lee McCullough, both at the MIT Kavli Institute for Astroph. Quantum radiation pressure noise is already poking out of the noise floor in advanced LIGO, and before long, it will be a limiting noise source in GW detectors, Mavalvala said. Deeper astrophysical observations will only be possible if we can reduce it, and this beautiful result from the Corbett Group at LSU demonstrates a technique for doing just that. Story source, materials provided by Louisiana State University. Note, content may be edited for style and length. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.